Danny Flex and here for seconds out with the Queen, of course, Charlotte Flair, and Andrade, the WWE United States Champion. Yeah, as, as you may have noticed, this isn't Rey Mysterio. <laughs> so busy, no time for change the name. <laughs> because I win in the live event, I won the, in the live event this title, you know, in the Madison Square Garden. It's live event, no TV. And after the live, uh, the live events, we went to vacation for enjoy New Year and back to to Raw and now UK. Well, so, something else happened on that vacation, I believe. It, some, something in, very important in both your lives. I don't know. <laughs> what, what did happen? What happened? I don't My know. <laughs> <laughs> Collective amnesia here, but just to explain to the viewers, Charlotte and Andrade got engaged to be married. Congratulations to you both. Thank you so <laughs> thank much. You, thank you. I must say, you're one of the best dressed couples in WWE, maybe in sport in general and in performance. I mean, God, you've made a real effort this morning. You put us to shame. You. Well, you were only on Raw less than 24 hours ago as well. <laughs> it's my stylist. I know it was less than 24 hours ago. You had a, you had a promo. Yes. <laughs> said, 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 said with a little bit of shade there, I think. You just had a promo. You were getting thrown around by Sarah Logan, I mean. He, well, he's like, yeah, but I had a... Did you see my match last week with Ray? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Is, is there a bit of... Oh, no, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think what she's saying is there's no competition. <laughs> always competition in, in the room and, the, and everything, in the gym and the... Oh, I'm very performance. Okay, you're very performance. Are you looking forward to your own Rusev Lana style storyline? I'm guessing probably not, but. Uh, <laughs> Maybe in the future, yeah, no. Um, his career with Zelina and the chemistry and where they're going is completely different. And. Uh, maybe in the future, down the road, but not right now. Yeah. But this is fun being able to do interviews together. Yes. I don't want to scare yeah. Zelina and think she might be out of a job, no, you know. Text her and be like, hey, listen, no, you do way better. <laughs> yeah. Tell us about the proposal, Andrade. We're, we're, not, we're not an entertainment channel, but I'm, I am intrigued to know how, did you plan it out? Was it really kind of well planned? Tell them how the rest of the I'm in focus. I'm preparing everything for a couple of months. You know, I'm preparing for my title. <laughs> Why not talking about title first, proposal second. Okay. I'm preparing for a long time for this title. No, I'm, I'm in focus, I'm thinking ideas for surprise, uh, my beautiful lady. Um, I hope you like it, baby. Do you like it, the surprise? Charlotte, describe it to us. And, and were you surprised? No, I think it's better about the reservations and the guy and they changed the name and then you're like, oh no, no. Um, so we went to Cancun. Uh, the first time we went, that's where we went on our first vacation. Um, so obviously he knows where all the good restaurants and hotels, uh, like where tourists don't go. Um, but he told me that he had reservations for New Year's. Um, and I was like, okay, that's great, whatever. You take care of it because uh, he does... He's the romantic one. <laughs> Just ruining your, your heel rep. Your heel rep's in danger. I'm the man, I'm heel. Hey, it worked for Rick Rude. Heel, Rey Mysterio. I mean? He's really not, though. And then lay some roses afterwards, yeah. So he picked a restaurant. Baby face turning coming. <laughs> so he picked a restaurant, uh, Waterfront, and already had the menu done, like my what I was going to eat. Uh, Reservations were for eight, but he was like, we need to leave by 10. I'm like, okay, but what's what's the big deal? Like, I like the restaurant. He's like, no, we need to leave. I'm like, seriously, where are we going? He's like, yeah, let's go out, you know, to the bars or the restaurants for fireworks and the New Year, the countdown. Wait, so wait, the wait, waiter wait, wait, takes wait. us Little down. stop, little stop. She always, many questions for everything. For dinner, what is the food? What is this? What is the plan for everything? So it's hard to do surprises. What do you do today? What is oh, stop! I don't have a schedule. Yeah. Come, and just enjoy. Oh, many questions always. So, well, with my busy schedule, I need to know what's happening. Oh, you need to schedule for what is the plan for the year? What is the plan for the next day? What is the hey, just enjoy. Go dinner and enjoy, no question. But what is the food? I like it, I don't like it, with steak. This, I just asked this. if it was seafood or steak. This engagement's gonna be off in a minute. <laughs> okay, so, um, 
since the restaurant was waterfront, there, the dock, there was a bunch of um, boats. Like, yeah, so it was in a, like beside a marina. Uh, I was like, oh, I love boats. Like, that, he knows that. It's my favorite thing to do ever, just go out in the water. So the waiter took us around front of the restaurant that was oceanfront, like down a spiral staircase. And I was like, well, this is weird. Why aren't we going to the front of the restaurant to leave? But I was like, whatever, this is the back. The restaurant, when we got there, there was really no one in there. So we had like our own private waiter, but then the restaurant was filling up by the time it was 10 o'clock. So I was like, oh, he's just taking us out back. Um, but it took us down to the docks and then one of the yachts was lit up. And I was like, seriously, really? So the waiter took us and he's like, mommy, we're going on a boat ride. So there was a yacht waiting with the captain and the second mate and we went and got pizza and then the boat uh, went up to two other boats at midnight and they were playing American music and the countdown happened and he was like, look at the fireworks or turn around and then I turned back around and he hey, was down on stop. his seat. Okay. <laughs> so much. Okay. So much. Gonna give away all his secrets. Yeah, it was amazing. And Andrade, I guess a natural question, I'm sure I'm not the first person to ask you this, but did you ask her father for permission before you popped the question? Uh, yes, I know. But I talk a lot with the father, with my father alone. I talk a lot, text, always after my match. He texts me, oh, good match. Oh, maybe you need this, or oh, be careful. Yeah, many, it's great. He texts me many times for everything, for my promos, for, for my matches. For, did you um, ask him if if so. he could? <laughs> no, um, my dad always teases him. Hey, when's when's the big day? When's the big day? Yeah. Like he didn't. No, he always told me, please be careful, protect my leg, my daughter. I say, I protect your daughter, so I protect your daughter. I love your daughter, your daughter. And no say. Yeah, no say, but I try. In different words. You kind of got the idea that he would approve of the union, as it were. Charlotte, I want to ask you, obviously you, you're a pioneering force in the women's evolution. You've headlined a WrestleMania, which is amazing. Um, you worked recently with Ronda Rousey as well. I just want to ask how you felt she adapted from an MMA position to the WWE world. And, and just guys in general that come from outside that sphere, how they, how they adapt. So when she first started... I had no idea, you know, what what to expect because just because you're an athlete and at the level she was doesn't mean that you're going to be good at this. Yes, we are athletes, but we are entertainers. It, there's so much that goes into it. Just because you're a great athlete doesn't mean that you're going to be the biggest superstar ever. You have to connect with the audience on an emotional level. Um, and that's what she did right off the bat. There's no, I mean, when I had the opportunity to work her at Survivor Series, um, first of all, I, when I, she, she had so much faith in me, which meant so much to me, to say, hey, what do you want to do? And that, as a performer and respecting her, pretty much being a pioneer in this women's evolution to begin with, showing UFC that, hey, women can main event and we're big draws. Um, the respect I had for her and then for her to trust me in my world. Uh, I hope one day I get the opportunity to work her again. But like I said, the reason she was so successful is because she caught on like that. She understood that maybe because she is physical and she knows what a fight feels like, but she she got that part. And slowing down and the, I mean, th there was so much authenticity. She was Ronda Rousey in the ring. And that's hard. Sometimes people aren't who they are like you have to try too hard it. overcompensate yes and she she's like i know who i am and she brought that plus figuring out what she does well and just picked it up so fast well final question goes to andrade i know you guys have got a lot of people to see You've adapted from a more Luce Libre style to the WWE style, which is slower paced um, for the most part, and more of an emphasis on promos as well. How have you found that change? Not so much change because I have many matches. I go, I working for Nia Pan Pro Wrestling, you know, Nia Pan Pro Wrestling, same style, USA, and in little companies in USA, I'm working, and in Mexico, you know the, you know the big places is. In the war or the build 
countries for wrestling or lucha. It's Mexico, USA, Japan, and UK, you know, is the, the big, for, you know, WWE is in all countries, it's different. And WWE have uh, all talents, now and many opportunities for all star or indies star, many opportunities to come in Pimbal or Kevin Owen, Sami Zayn, uh, Ricochet, many talent in the world. Uh, this opportunity for me, no? I'm looking many guys, and me Japan and Mexico meet with them you know, or match with with the with the guys. It, no, it's so hard. It's, the problem difficult for me is the uh, for me the different roles in the performance center. Because you are when you go in, when you went to performance center and you superstar or you different schedule and the in the Indies or in Mexico you have your time you have your time you have everything and when I I go I move for USA for performance center in Orlando I I had a schedule. You need gym, you need promo, you need all the schedule. We know you don't like schedules. Yeah, all the schedule. So, oh, I need to wake up 8, gym 8 to 10, uh, 10 and 11 to, to 1. You have a class, a uh, wrestling class. I run my first class with Norman Smiley. Norman Smiley, Norman Smiley. Uh, he he working in Mexico for with the name the Black Magic. Yeah, for working in uh, WCW, uh, working with Smiley, you know. And start when and when I work out with the guys, when never in the life wrestling or <laughs> I wrestling for nine years. When at this moment, me. in nine years, I'm wrestling. And something guys know know where is wrist lock or wrist lock or Head. Wrist watch. Yeah, it's just what I stay in the corners, I the space and say, oh, three hours because the class is three hours. Say, oh, I need down, I know because and when my two minutes I stay in the ring with something another person, I have like, my spot or my move or little wrestling. I'm saying normal smiley, okay, next. And some people stay in the ring, normal the head look is this, the head look is this, the head look is how I say I normally smile say, wait, wait, always, he understand, he speak Spanish, I understand, hey, tranquilo, tranquilo, always relax, wait, 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 okay, okay. And after this, is promo class, you see in promo class, and between the English, Spanish, and us, I'm back home, and sometimes uh, when I have my English class, back home, five or six, PM when I start my day, AIM, I am like, oh, I'm so tired. And the Monday to Thursday or Friday for one year, I'm so tired. This is the hard, hard time for me, but for now, I'm here. I have a beautiful lady, the top star. So the, yeah, the beautiful lady, you know. Beautiful belt. My belt. Um, I'm good life. Just because I'm a proud fiance, but so watching him, like since like the last year and a half, um, it's one thing to talk to someone in private, right? With, with a different language, like how we interact. But I couldn't be more impressed with, he went from no English really to Zelina taking on the full role to like now he's doing interviews with me. Like to, like I can't imagine having to speak Spanish to someone right now without not just talking to him. So like the confidence of speaking English in bigger environments, I think is probably the biggest transition and probably the next thing that will take him to that next level within the WWE. Because obviously we know his talent. So that it's a big difference. Yeah. Because it's, you know, it's like one thing, us two or me and my dad, but speaking, you know what I mean? Just my teach. I had to go teach at home. I don't like correcting him though. Yeah, I don't want you to. Yeah, not so much. You're helping <laughs> him. It's okay. Help me. Let me help me. She don't help me. Sometimes help me, but sometimes no. Maybe when I'm angry. <laughs>
I want to say a big thank you to the WWE's latest power couple. You guys have been amazing and best of luck in married life. Thank you. Thank you.